Yes, guys, we are down to the last 10 days before the BITSAT examination. Tell me how you guys are feeling in the comment section below. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys anxious? Are you guys energized? Are you guys looking forward to the BITSAT examination? We are going to talk about three common mistakes that people make before the last 10 days of an important competitive exam like BITSAT. And if you're new here, my name is Hari and I got 340 in BITSAT of 2019. So make sure to watch it till the very end so that you can improve and boost your score up to the level best. So let's just get started. And for some reason, the most important question that most people ask me is, but yeah, we've just covered 50, 60% of the syllabus. Should we go about studying new chapters now? Bro, to be, uh, ask, answer me one question. He like, even if you study something the last one week, the there's a very low probability that you'll be able to remember it, recollect it, and actually apply whatever you've learned at the examination. And especially in an exam like BITSAT where you need to think from first principles. So it is very very much unre not recommended at all to go and pick up a new chapter. So if you have finished 50% of syllabus, stick to that 50%, make sure you strengthen that. And the remaining 50%, see some solved examples, see some previous year BITSAT questions, do some mock tests, learn from them. And then from there, understand the formulas, understand the application of the concepts and understand in case a basic question which comes, let's say like you know, rotation mechanics, find the moment of inertia of this object or like just conserve momentum from when two particles are colliding with each other. So these questions are simpler on the, and on the easier side. So if you understand the basic concepts and formula, you'll be able to apply them and get your easy marks. But don't go and deep dive into them. Don't go into the depth and think that, okay, I will make it into a J means level standard. Or I'm going to prepare it in such a way that I'll be able to solve a J advanced questions. Which means that even, let's say, like three, four questions and bits are in each section will be on the tougher side. Even if you skip them, it's absolutely fine. So focus on your strengths and learn the formulas and application of concepts from the weak chapters and you are good to go. And the second most important mistake that people make is they go about trying different books and different resources and they have never tried out before in the last two years. Whatever you've done in the last two years, that be HC for physics, DC one for physics, or Sengage for maths, or whatever it is, whatever book that you have taken, these are just examples. Keep following them and keep preparing from them and don't go about doing a new book, especially at this point of time. And do not just fixate on doing chapter-wise problems. The reason I'm saying that don't do chapter-wise problems at this point of time it's primarily because you need to train your mind how to switch from one concept and one question to other. Because question number one will be from electrostatic, question number two, gravitation, question number three, from kinematics. So it's a different masala mix of different concepts and applications. So you need to be strong enough in different chapters and you need to train your mind to switch from one concept to another. And if you do chapter-wise problems, you don't have that ability to switch concepts. This is exactly why you need to do papers. And by your papers, consider what is relevant BITSAT resources and what should we actually do. This is exactly why we have come up with BITSAT Busted, guys. Some people from BITS, including me, we have come up with great mock test series for you to go and ace BITSAT in the best level possible. And at the same time, we have a great community for you guys to interact with and engage with and which can help you solve your doubts. At the same time, we have weekend sessions as well. These are people who have done extremely well in BITSAT. And the reason is because people don't have the right knowledge of what resources they take, what should you actually do. And this is... And when I was preparing, there were a lot of resources which did not reflect the actual BITSAT pattern at all. And I went to the examination hall and I thought something else is going to come to the exam. And when, when I went there, it gave me a completely different picture. So having the right idea for what BITSAT looks like and practicing that 130 questions in 3 hours from the relevant sources and mentored by the right people can really change your BITSAT and that's for sure. Okay, we have come up with BITSAT Busted for you guys. BITSAT Busted is a mock test series and an amazing community for people who are preparing for BITSAT this year. There are close to 15 mock tests for you guys to solve. Do check out BITSAT Busted slash learn because we are there for you and at the same time several other students have already enrolled. I'll see you guys there. And, and the third most important mistake that people make is that they don't analyze their mock tests. People think that I will do 20 mock tests in five days and I see a boost in my score. You won't. That's the honest reality, right? The honest reality is if you do one mock, spend at least three hours analyzing that mock. Write down where you've gone wrong. Write down where you can improve. See, do a SWOT analysis. See where your strengths are. See where your weaknesses are. See where is the opportunity and see where the threat is. Right. And so that you can understand where you can improve. 
अदरवाइज इट इज गोइंग ब्लाइंडली अबाउट मॉक टेस्ट एंड पीपल से कि भैया हमको मॉक टेस्ट में इंप्रूवमेंट नहीं आ रहा है हाउ विल आई डू वेल इन द एग्जाम because you need to spend time with the analysis and if you don't spend time with the analysis you will not see a boost in your score and that's why whenever people come come up to me in the community and they ask me should i do more mock tests or should i spend more time in analysis i would say keep a balance of both because you need to do mock tests at least 15 mock tests or then at least send a free mock test and have a proper analysis of them and try to make a separate notebook for that try to write down this question i got it right and this question i got it wrong because i applied the formula wrong there was a silly mistake and this is how i could have avoided it and this chapter chapter needs more strengthening i need to practice this concept i need to practice the surface tension concept in fluid mechanics so that i can get this type of questions right and this is how you improve gradually step by step right and if you don't improve step by step and then you will just be stuck no i will end up getting the same amount of marks in the last 10 12 marks like i got 240 240 240 39 239 235 230 as a it doesn't make sense you have to improve only when you improve you will gain confidence and in the bitsat mein when you go in the examination hall you will be more pressurized which means that somehow or the other the performance level cyclically goes down and the only way to improve that is by doing mock tests in a timely environment so that's why we also have weekend sessions where people can actually come freely and they can ask doubts talk to the mentors and see how they can actually improve right and that will be the end of this video guys if you have any doubts if you have any comments feel free to feel free to dm me or comment in the comment section i'll see you in the community bye bye